Now, so let's uh, let's do some some tricks with this while loop. What if my value of uh, i is 11? That means the starting value is 11. It will go down here. Let me just run this. Um, and you can see we don't have any output is because the value of i here is 11, which means, let me just run this slow one. Okay, so it's the value of i is 11, and then it will go here. Now in while it will check, if my uh, the value of i is 11, is 11 less than 10? And the answer is no. So while loop gets a uh, answer which is false. Since it is false, it will directly jump out. Right, and that's why it's not printing any value. Now what if I want to print this value once? Doesn't matter uh, if the condition satisfies or not. What we can do is we can simply say it says do and then we can check it afterwards. So we'll say i less than equal to 10. Now I can see the value of i is 11. That means the condition is false. But still, if I run this code, If I, what's happening? if I run this code, the output is hello one time, right? It's because, uh, let's, let's, uh, let's load on this. If I press F7, F7, now it will jump on do and from do it will print. It doesn't matter if it satis satisfy the conditions or not. It will jump on I++ and then it will go for the while loop. And obviously in while loop, it will get the condition is false and then it will come out. And that's the advantage of using do while loop. And the next type of uh, loop is for loop. Now, to, to understand for loop, let's go back to our code. The initial code, let's say it was while loop. It was a while loop here. And one thing, if you observe in do while loop, we apply a semicolon after while. But in case of while loop, we don't apply a semicolon. Now, let's again come back to one. And the output we'll be getting here is obviously it's 10 hellos, right? Because I have changed the value to one. Now, if you can see here, we are going for three statements. One, initialize the value. Uh, what if what if I remove this and if I say i equal to one, it will give the same output, right? So the, the steps are it will initialize the value, it will check for the condition and increment, right? So instead of writing this three statements, uh, in three, three separate, separate lines, what we can do is we can write those statements in one line. And for that, we have to use something called as for loop. Now, for loop allows you to write all these three statements one, in one line. So we can say i equal to 1, a statement, then i less than equal to 10, a statement, and then i plus plus. So you can write all these statements in one line. And it, uh, you have to make sure that after every statement, there's, there's a semicolon here. And now if I run this, you'll be getting the same output, right? So 10 hellos. So this is how we can use a for loop.